Hey guys, it is Wednesday night. It's about 9 o'clock. I'm about to go get in line for the 40th anniversary panel. Get in line for a wristband. Um, it's Wednesday night. The panel is tomorrow at 11 a.m. So it's a calm before the storm. Everyone who's here is in line for that panel uh, for the most part. I'll turn the camera around and show you the convention center as I walk. It is 9.30, we're on the way to get into line for the 40th anniversary panel. As you can see, it's dead in here. Just a few people making their way over to the line. I'm sure the line's pretty significant at this point. Uh, they're gonna give out wristbands at about 6 a.m. The panel's not till 11 a.m., but we're gonna get in line, see what we can do. Hopefully, we'll have a good view. Alright guys, it is 12.52 in the morning, Thursday morning, first day of celebration, and a strange turn of events. I am on the turnpike heading home. Uh, it's only temporary though. Uh, I got to the convention center at 9, 9.15, somewhere in there. Was walking over at 9.30, walked around. By the time I got to the area where you could go through security, and security took forever. I got my uh, the holder for my lanyard, got over towards uh, the queue, got in line for the 40th anniversary panel, and the lady told me that the live stage was full and that we would be in one of the streaming rooms. So that was fine in my mind, I'm trying to take it in like, is she just saying that? Like I almost didn't want to believe it. Is she just saying that or is there a chance that we won't depending on where they cut off the line or where her count is at? Anyway, I sat there for about 45 minutes or an hour until about midnight and then decided I wasn't going to sit there 10 hours to see the stream on a screen in a room. I could drive home about an hour and a half from the place. So I could drive home, hang out, get some rest, sleep seven hours, come back, enjoy my day at celebration and learn from that mistake and get in line a lot earlier for the last Jedi panel tonight. But so, I don't know, it just sucks. And then I left at midnight and they were turning people away as I was leaving, saying no one could come in since it was after midnight. They were locking up the doors and stuff like that. Um, at this time, a bunch of the doors were locked for the, the Skyway, so I ended up like almost walking through the streets trying to get all the way back over to the Hilton because the Hilton parking lot is where I parked because we were staying there for three nights. We have a reservation for three nights starting tomorrow night. So, this has been an awkward, weird beginning to the celebration, the celebration, celebration, celebration. Um, so, I just wanted to get off my chest and talk about it. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to see everything else, but I was just a little aggravated at this moment. I got about another hour and 20 minutes or so, I guess, until I get home. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, guys, I have made it home. That's going to be the end of my Star Wars Celebration Day Zero coverage. I'm going to be right back at it in the morning. I'm going to have a bunch of coverage and a bunch of footage for you guys from all four days. So definitely check back. I just also picked up a Canon 80D um, to get a lot of really good footage for you guys. I've been home a little bit now. I had some time to change, uh, relax a little bit. I'm going to get a couple hours sleep, a few hours sleep, and then head back out to Orlando. I'm really looking forward to the whole convention. So I will see you guys soon. If you're going to be there, let me know. Bye.